guys to take you through the next hour with the Dow more than 200. Hey guys. Hey. Hi Neil. Thank you so much. Always great to see you. Hello everyone. I'm Jackie DeAngelis. I'm Taylor Riggs. And I'm Brian Brenberg. Welcome to the Big Money Show. Yeah, let's do a little <laughs> bit of a fact check here. Okay. Empathy, right? Because if you were feeling what people are feeling, you would be more upfront about the problem of inflation, Taylor. But I think the issue is he's got an economic agenda mm -hmm. that requires things that actually stoke inflation. Yes. And that's why he can't be honest. About all it. the spending, right, mm. is what spurs all of this inflation. And, you know, Brian, hey, Jackie, we're going to hear from Tapestry a little bit later. They're saying the consumer is weak. We've heard from McDonald's, 3M. They're saying the low income consumer is starting to crack. Citigroup earlier this week said consumer behavior has diverged. That low income consumer is really feeling pinched. Spirit Airlines is talking about it. These are four that I just pulled off the top of my head. We could really go on and on and on. Companies are saying our consumer is in trouble. Listen yeah. to them. Um, Starbucks is my favorite to yes. add to that list. Um, oh. But let me start. You know, you, you can tell me there's a little bit of human error in that, but not completely off in sentiment. Good point. Yeah. Saying that that is a big enough spread. People right? feel it. Saying right. something. I want to get back to sort of what CEOs. In a while to trickle down to the consumer where we're starting to see the cracks. Look, I know when we're sensible enough to, to really move the needle in some way, but Taylor, the companies that you're mentioning and Tapestry as well, this is now, you know, a prolonged period of time where people are saying, okay, we just can't do it anymore. And you always make the point, which is that, yes, inflation has come down, but it's a rate of, of price Change. increases <laughs> and it's still rising. That yes. is not good enough. Not good enough. Do you want to talk about well, your are favorite? Well, these are guys that Lena Khan wants to keep from merging yeah. because there's way too much concentration yes. in the luxury space, even yep. though the consumer is slowing down and mm -hmm. clearly they don't have a lot of power. Uh, I think this is one where Lena Khan should get out of the way, but I know she's not listening. What did I just say? I don't want Lena, Lena Khan. Khan. I, I said I don't want Lena Khan to tell me about my fashion. In my fashion. Yeah. That's right. Let's talk about Robin Hood. We're Book some rooms for the Olympics. In July? Yeah. We'll see if it holds up the company. Okay. Also, here's a really another interesting one. We don't know details on the cost. It's odd to say it's very competitive to get me to sign up. Uh, watch there out. That <laughs> password crackdown is coming. All right. The Biden administration added. Uh, it sounds like she did the Oprah method. Like, you get some you get some COVID money and you get some COVID money. Here, does everybody have a little bit, Grady? Great stuff. Thanks. You say that you hate somebody. It sort of looks like you've got an axe to grind, Lydia. Thank you so much for that. Instead of graduating with the world at their feet, Gen Z actually financially starting out a few steps behind. But we've got some tips on how younger Americans can set themselves up for success. That next. Rid of the unreality lifestyle you see on social media, <laughs> yeah. choose your own, and then focused intensity. I took notes, Jade. That was great. You Thank you it. very much for that. You got Good it. to see you. We've been talking a lot about the amazing ingenuity that yeah. is Neuralink, that is Elon Musk. It is fascinating. It's science. It's helping people. What is crazy to me, though, is they were able to fix some of the glitches by doing a software update, I believe. The implant is already in his brain. So, look, maybe it's not working as much as it was before, but I still think this is an incredible company. I think it's fascinating, and I give them a tour fix in his brain. You're not. Literally. No. To make it more sensitive so that it would respond respond to his sensory cues to move the the but thing. it shows you also how individualized it is yes yeah. so wow. we'll awesome. continue okay. to watch amazing breakthroughs like that well per se i know there are a lot of side effects and different things that can happen for for any reason that you're looking um to to take drug therapy in some ways and so my question here is the the people who are overeating to the level that the person loses 15 percent of their body weight but i think you've homed in on what to me is the most important question you've got to weigh two obesity yeah. and obesity is catastrophic okay. for your health. It increases the risk of over 200 conditions from cancer to dementia to heart disease. So it's book give us one or two with the drug that yeah, you so noticed. Yeah, so some scientist. And I oh. didn't feel depressed, but I felt a bit okay. dulled. And I was trying to think, why is that? And I, and I kind of realized that what these drugs do is they interrupt your, the way you ate, right? You can't eat the way you did before. And right. ever since I was, but for a lot of people, that's a very, very painful transition. Wow. What about energy? So you don't need to exercise to lose the weight. Do you develop sort of unhealthy life habits as a result of the artificial 
pill taking care of all that for you? I said, it's an issue. I wasn't hungry. Wow. That had never happened. I used to wake up with like a raging hunger. And I went to this diner up the street from where I live and that I used to go to every morning. And I ordered what I used to get every day, which is a huge brown roll with loads of chicken and mayo in it. Yeah. And, I, and I had like, <laughs> you look hungry now. And I had mm. it. these drugs give it back, but with a, a set of costs. What yeah. about the actual costs, the monetary costs? Look at that aspect of it's this. It's a massive issue. At the moment, we've got a situation where the a day, 47% of Americans want to take these drugs. I would guess it'll be higher than that. And that is going to have massive financial and cultural implications. Emily Field is a financial. This is the biggest killer. Yeah. And this is a risky but real solution to a lot of those problems. We are totally out of time. <laughs> is the underlying problem ultra processed food that you just said? This is an artificial solution for an artificial garbage we're putting in our body. Exactly. If you eat stuff like cheesecake and KFC, it under. Wow, Johan, thanks for stopping well, a pleasure. by. Thank we you. have a lot to think about. <laughs> And there goes my lunch for today, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Is this a good sign or is this a sign that there's nowhere else to put the money so we're just going to buy back our own shares? I think it's very company dependent. But this, okay. the fact that uh, shares, which reduces the total number of outstanding shares and increases the value of your stock. So this is good for shareholders, but it's not going to make up for lack of innovation. Right. It's not going to make up for right. you know, growth in a business. So that's the two sides of this sword. The other issue here is that stock team times earnings, that's half the NASDAQ. So they're cheap compared to almost everything else. Sometimes our audience wants to get in on ETFs. It's an easier way to diversify than to actually have to pick the individual yeah. stocks. One of the ETFs you like, consider shipping ETF BOAT, B-O-A-T. Why? Yeah, well, it's easy to remember, right? I mean, BOAT <laughs> is that trend. And again, I mean, most right. people probably have a position in Apple. It's in their index funds. Right. BOAT is off the radar screen, and it's working now. Get in your BOAT, take it to the bank. That's how you make money. <laughs> you and the puns Jonathan with Honey. the banks today. Just, just summon it up. Just summon it so up. Capital Ratios aren't interesting. That's what I'm taking away from this. Jonathan, thanks so much. Thanks, really you. appreciate well. it. How do you respond to that? I mean, I'll tell you, any, everything you need to know about Rashida Tlaib, October 7th was a rallying cry. Right. Not defending any of these students. And when you talk about protected First Amendment. Are sending the mayor a list of demands that they won. Uh, we have a screen on them. They want fresh food. They want regular medical visits. They want work on this story as well. This week, 15, the border, we know that we have had this problem under this president. He knows all about it, too. And now you've got Democrats saying, do something. Mm. Right? We need to hear from. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. We appreciate it. Really well said. Yeah.